Hey everyone, my name is Vishal and welcome to my very first tutorial on this channel. And today we will learn one of the most common question comes to every eye is how you how do you print the images in Photoshop? So I'm using the software Photoshop DC 2019. Um, and this is my subject here um, we will going to work on this today and this is our background so uh, first I have already masked out this subject as you can see the original image was this and you can see there was too much uh, details on these edges there was for details but uh, right now when we have masked this subject there is no such kind of details this the edges of this part are too much sharp so what i did uh, to fix it i used this smudge brush so i already uh, did this i'm not going to show here because this tutorial is going to on be how i blend so i'm not going to show how i did this so we have now masked our subject and the next step is going to be first i will be adjusting my background so this is my background what i will do is i will just decrease the saturation so i'm going to decrease my saturation like this and what i'm going to do next is i will take the curves layer and i will just slightly decrease it like this and you can also like do like this and just take the another adjustment layer called levels to get some highlights like this you can do okay so for now our background is adjusted we have done with the background so our next step is to get this subject match with this background now so to uh, match this what i'm going to do first is uh, as you can see the colors are very much different the background color are something like they are cool color like blue or sand something but uh, in this subject the colors are red so what i'm going to do i will just take the hue and saturation and i will just clip mask to this subject and i will just click it on here and just click it and drag it so it will automatically catch which color is it and it will decrease that particular color saturation okay so this is uh, we have done this and the next step is going to be we need some shadows the lightning is not match with the background so i need some shadows here so this is my curves layer i will just slightly decrease the highlights first like this and also i will clip mask to this and just do something like this okay so we have done this another thing uh, is I will not use uh, the whole curve layer. What I will do is I will just inverse it, press the shortcut key Ctrl and I like this and take your soft brush in Photoshop. Uh, if, if you don't know what is a soft brush, uh, let me tell you. The general brush, the soft brush is what we use. So I'm using my wake up pen tablet and i will paint it through my tablet okay so let's start with painting and um, i will just click it over here so if i need to change the flow i can change it very easily from my keyboard okay so let's start with this painting So just paint where you need the shadows uh, because um, as you can see here uh, we can get more shadows we don't want the highlights
so now i'm done with painting these shadows you can see i've painted uh, the shadows like this and another thing i need to do is i need some highlights in this subject so i will just take the level adjustment layer and just clip it clip mask to hit this like here and like this you can do to get the highlights and just increase it and again i will just inverse it control and i i will take my brush and i will again start painting the highlights here like this So as you can see we have painted the highlights here now my next step is to match the color okay so my next step is going to be i will be uh, choosing the photo filter option from here and uh, i will just clip mask to this and i will choose the filter uh, like this yarn and now you can see we this subject is now uh, too much match with the background you can see here and so the next step um, I will do here if you want you can also change the opacity but in my case this is um, well good and my next step is going to be I will be adding some more shadows and some more highlights and to uh, but this time I will be using the dodge and burn so what I'm going to do is I will just hit on my keyboard control shift and N to get the new layer and just rename it to dodge and burn And I will um, select the blending mode to the overlay and just hit this and click OK from here. And you can see this is now overlay, but um, I need to apply it on this subject only. So what I will do, I will just clip mask to this. And again, I will choose the burn tool from here. Just check your exposure. It should not be 100% or 50%. It should be as much as low it can be. So in my case, I, I'm choosing here 7% um, of exposure. Um, so I'm getting started with the burn tool from here and what I will do is I will just paint it to get more shadows. Okay, so now you can see I'm done with uh, painting the shadows and you can see the effect from here um, how I have painted this uh, also if you if you want you can also uh, paint on the bottom of the subject if you want and um, the next step is going to be I will be taking the dodge tool from here and uh, what I will do uh, this time is uh, I just choose uh, first choose the exposure or something around this and just your range should be mid tones only and I will just um, paint the dodge to paint with the dodge tool to get some um, highlights like this uh, you need to do on the edges only okay so as you can see done with the dodge and burn tool if you want you can also change the opacity to around 80 percent something like this and my next step is going to be i will paint the highlights with the brush uh, on the edges um, to get the more to get some more highlight so i will just take the new layer and apply clip mask to this and i will take my brush flow around eight percent and now i will just paint it here like this so in this way i can get uh, more uh, rim lights here So as you can see I'm done with painting the highlights and, and also you can see I've added some snow over here you can take any uh, you can just write on the google to search for some snow png or some snow brushes and you can uh, add it to here like this to get some more realism and my next step is going to be i will be doing some color grading over here so first i will uh, use the channel mixer from here so now I'm going to take the channel mixer 
tool from here and I'm on the blue one and I will just do it something like okay so you can do something like this and then uh, just go to the green one and and you can do something like this with the help of the channel mixer you can uh, get some this kind of color grading over here so now you are getting uh, some more blues here so I'm done with the channel mixer and again I will use the photo filter I have um, here and this time I'm going to choose the cooling filter this one and if you want you can change the opacity as well something around like this okay so now uh, we have blended our subject with our background and the next step is what I will do I will just uh, finalize my image in the camera of filters so this is the optional one so to um, I, I will skip this part because this is the optional this is not necessary if you want you can do but this is the optional one so as you can see now I have I am completed with my camera of filter and I got this much of uh, color grading in the camera filter next and the final step is going to be i will just take the curves and i will just slightly adjust it to uh, get some more realism uh, so now you have successfully created your uh, image and you have blended your subject with your background and, and by using this technique you can easily brand your subject with your background this was the one of the quickest and the simplest way i can uh, able to share with you guys and just let me know if you learned something new